Hello everyone, in this video, I want to talk about uh, the language and the language. What's the difference between them? How to use them? With that being said, let's begin. Usually, for the language, language, we have to change it when we draw. We draw something with the lunch or draw it. Draw something with the arc circle ellipse. And for the language, when we draw something with the polygon tool or some rectangle to polygon tool, basically they are the polygon, right? And uh, when we use the line tool to draw something, right? To draw some polygon or draw some shape, we have to join them together so that it's going to be a polygon. So that we can change the the language. So let's try to draw something. Let's use the line to draw a line. Enter. Let's use the arc to draw arc. Circle, circle, lip, draw a lip. Basically, all of them we have to change the, the line weight. How do we? How do I know that? If I select this line and double click it, double click it in the command window, actually it didn't show up anything. Same thing for this one. Select it, click it in the command window, it didn't show anything. Same for circle, double click it. Right, look at the command window, didn't show anything. For the leaf, click it, right, in the command window, didn't show anything. So that uh, we have to change the, the language. So let's select all of them. Let's go to the property here. here. So here is the language. Let's change it. I want to change them to 2 millimeter. Okay, hit escape. We can zoom. I know it's wider, right? I change the line weight. So, uh, let's do the uh, draw something with the polyline. So, with the polyline too. I'm gonna draw a straight line here with polyline. So, I can draw, I can draw a triangle. So, let's select it here. This is the object snap. Select it so that I can connect to the point. So I draw, I draw, I draw a triangle, right? I draw a triangle with the polygon. They join, they join together, right? Automatically, it's one object. So let's draw a, another triangle. So this time I draw it with the line tool. I draw it bigger. So, if you put a cursor on it, right, it's not a, it's not an object, it's a segment, right. So, let's try to uh, select the line and click it. Look at it here, in the command window, it shows the key added, so that I can select the width, right, change it. Let's change the 0 0.5, so look at the screen, it's a wider. Let's hit escape right now. So same thing for this triangle. I draw it with the polyline. Polyline is an object. So I can select the entire, entire triangle. And double click it so that I can see the P edit and select the width and change it to point five. So look at the line. Right, it's wide right now. For this triangle. For this triangle, let's hit this game for triangle. So I can't see select the entire right entire triangle. I just select the uh, the segment, the line segment each time. You click it, right? It didn't show anything. Basically, this segment is a line. It's a line, right? 
I draw it with the line tool. The property is a line. Look at here. Or the line type is line. So I can't change the line width. Let the field is clear. I select all of them and join them together. Tap in draw G and hit enter. So now I put my cursor on it and click it, double click it. So that I can see the P edit and select the width. Select it and hit and enter the point file. Okay, right now I change it, right? Right now I change the the width for this triangle. It is a polyline. Same thing for the rectangle. Let's draw a rectangle here. Use the rectangle tool. So if I put my cursor on it, I can select the entire of the object. So it is a polyline. So I can double click it and change the width. Say the point five. Same thing for the polyline, you can do it if you want. So if I want to use the use the line tool to draw a rectangle, right? We have to join them together. Let's try it. I want to search on the also mode here. Let's draw it. So let's select switch on the object snap track and make sure that so we can track the line so that to make sure that it is the right angle. So this is a uh, this is a rectangle. I draw it with line tool, but. Uh, I can't select the entire of them. Let's try it right now. If I click it, I just select this segment, this this line, right? I select it as so that I only select the second one. I select the third one, select the fourth one, and double click them. So they show the four lines, the four lines, right? In the command window, it didn't show anything. So let's type in J and hit enter right now i join them together so that i can select all of them and double click it and select the width here change it to 0 0.5 because the window is wider right now also for the uh for the polyline for the local polyline i can marry the wide side Let's try to marry it. Let's go to the annotation, select the dimension tool. Let's measure. So right now I don't want to want to have the object snapped. So let's try to marry the the width of the line here. Okay, it shows zero point five. So it. It is the number that we set for the width. So let's try to measure the the line weight. So this line that I draw with the line tool. Let's zoom in a little bit. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Right. So actually, the line, the line width, right, line width didn't change. I can keep zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Didn't change. So for the line tool, for the line tool, we uh, if we use it. Draw something, so it's just the for the it didn't for the visualization it right it didn't change it didn't the real the real width didn't change it yeah but uh, we can see the change but we can't we can't mirror the the width we can't mirror the width okay that is thank you very much for watching if you have any question. Please feel free to let me know.